Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you, what you should do on day 1, Honkai Star Rail Release. I've played this game on CBT for more than one month, so I know a bit more about this game. Let's get started. The first thing to do on day 1, is re-rolling. Day 1 is the best time to re-roll to get 5 stars character that you want. But I personally don't recommend it, since re-rolling will take a lot of time. If you don't want to re-roll, just skip this section and move to the next section. If you want to re-roll, there's two re-roll option. Short 30 minutes re-roll and long 2 to 3 hours re-roll. The short one basically just play through the story, until you unlock on warping, or gacha. You will receive free 20 star rail passes. But if you want 10 more, you can just level up your trailblazer level to 5. This should take roughly around 30 minutes. Your goal for this short re-roll is to get at least one 5 stars character. But this will be very hard since the chance to get 5 stars is only 0.3%. The next one is long 2 to 3 hours re-roll, but this one has 100% chance to get you at least one 5 stars character. To do this, just continue the story, until you reach Trailblazer level 15, to get 10 more star rail passes. 40 pulls is the first pity to get at least one 5 star standard banner characters. So what character you should reroll to? In my personal opinion, two top priority characters to get are Bronya and Yanching. Bronya is the best buffer in the game, and Yanching is the only ice main DPS in the game. Your game will be much easier later on if you can get these two characters. The mid priority to get is Jeopard and Bailu. They both will be really useful on the end game content, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos. Since we need to have two team, and each team need a healer, or a shielder. But those are just my opinions, you can get which character you want, since it's your game. The goal of playing games is to have fun. After you done re-rolling, you should just continue to focus on story, until you unlock daily mission. You definitely need to do all the daily on day 1 because the reward are amazing. The mission will be random each day, but they are rather easy to do. There is also battle pass mission, and you need to complete this as well. Don't forget to raise your character's level, light cone and skills, because it will help you progress through the story easier and faster. I recommend you to focus on just 4 characters first. You can raise whoever you want, but I'd say you need at least one healer. You will get your first F2P healer, Natasha, somewhere on Bellabog's story. She is more than enough to carry you through everything. Then pick your other 3 characters to level up, based on what you get on your pulls. If you are F2P, I recommend Ray's main character and Danheim since they both will be useful until end game. Then the third one should be buffer, debuffer, or another DPS character. There is also stamina system like Ginchen. You can use stamina to farm character EXP book, light cone EXP, material for skills, etc. You can use it to whatever you need, but since it's day 1, I recommend to just use them for character EXP or light cone EXP. You can also use premium currency to get daily stamina. If you are F2P, I don't recommend to do it cause it's better for you to save it, for limited banner gacha you want. Once you've done everything. You can check out simulated universe, then push the content as far as you can, since the rewards are pretty nice. I will put simulated universe guide and gameplay on separate video. Then after that, you can find chest all across the map, to reach 100% achievement. You can also kill all enemies to farm materials, since they only spawn once a day. 
I think that's everything to do on day one. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will post more of this progression guide on my channel. Thank you for watching.